hey guys, decided after all these years to get back into rechargeable batteries. And what we got here is the Nate Core D2 charger, or the Digi charger. This thing's a neat little piece of gear and not too expensive either. You can find these for $15 to $20 depending on where you shop. And they also make a D4 that has four battery bays. This one just has two. I decided after, you know, to be honest, I, I haven't had rechargeable batteries since like the 1980s. Um, so I always had that idea of 1980s technology and batteries that they were just really crummy and not worth the money and they don't last, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, just the more and more I read, the more and more I saw that the technology has really changed, that batteries are a lot better. And just with the amount of gear I have, the amount of uh, flashlights and digital camera and just the mountains of toddler toys we have here in the house, I just had to go back to rechargeables. I was spending about 20 bucks, 30 bucks a month in batteries. So after doing a lot of research, I decided to go with this night cord for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, is the variety of batteries it accepts. It accepts anything from lithium to nickel metal hydride. It takes double A's, triple A's, or maybe not triple A's, so all different kinds of batteries. It even takes the cells, the 18650s, the 14500s, um, rechargeable CR123, so pretty much everything I use, this thing charges. It's very versatile with that. And it has a digital display as well. So as you can see as it cycles through these, it gives you a, a digital readout of where the batteries are, how much they're charging, etc. Now, of course, one of my big worries was when you get into recharging uh, 18650s and 14500s is the danger factor. They can be dangerous. They can blow up if you don't charge them right. This uh, charger has a lot of built-in protection. It doesn't overcharge them which is one of the big major ways that you can have uh, an accident. So this thing does shut off afterwards and has a good reputation for not causing battery failures, which I do think is really important after reading a lot of internet horror stories about 18650s and, and rechargeable CR123s and all that, I decided to go with a, a reputable charger. I know there's a lot of them out there where you can go like on eBay and you'll get like 10 rechargeable batteries and a charger for like 20 bucks, you know, it's ridiculously cheap uh, amount and it's very tempting but for safety's sake and just the amount of gear I have and money invested in gear I wanted to go with the quality and pretty much every review I've seen of this has been positive and of course you, know, you see a couple of people who've got duds and this and that but overall everyone seems to think this is an excellent charger. It plugs into your wall it also has a port in the top where you can plug it into your car adapter, your 12 volt car adapter. It lets you cycle through the different displays or it will do it on its own naturally. How the uh, batteries go in and out is pretty simple. They're just under uh, kind of spring tension here. As you can see this little guy. So that way it fits different size, different shape batteries from uh, big to small and it also automatically uh, detects the batteries. So if you do put in a lithium ion and then a nickel metal hydride, it will detect that and take care of it on its own. Plus you can charge different batteries at the same time. So you could put an 18650 here and a AA here. Doesn't matter, it auto detects, charges them to the right level and does all that all on its own. I mean, this is exactly what I need in a charger. And I thought uh, it would be just an excellent little charger, and it has been. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. You know, I've been switching over to the rechargeables, and slow but sure, and been very happy. I think uh, because I have bought uh, better end batteries, I haven't been trying to buy the cheap Ultra Fire and, and all that. I've been buying some of the higher end batteries, like the Panasonic, Sanyo's, things like that. I'm having a, a really good experience so far. No problems with charging. I've been double checking everything with a multimeter just to make sure that things aren't getting overcharged or anything like that because that's how you do have uh, accidents and everything seems to be accurate so far and doing well. So I just wanted to share it. If you are like me, you know, you have a ton of flashlights, you have cameras, this and that. 
the uh, world of rechargeable batteries is a lot better than it was 30 years ago and you can really get some decent quality stuff for very inexpensive. Like I said, 15 to 20 bucks for this night core. I do think it's one of the uh, better ones on the market. It's very safe to use and I've yet to see an example on the internet of somebody having a uh, cell blow up from uh, using this charger. So that is good news. So there it is guys, an Encore D2 Digi Charger.